Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a cover for your journal so that you can use it with a journal and sell it on Amazon KDP or on your website. This is a follow up video of the video that I did last week where I showed you how to create a journal. If you're new here, my name is Steve from stevenjohnson.com. I create videos every week so that I can help you learn something new that you can use to improve yourself or to earn some extra income. If you haven't done that yet, please subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a new video. As I said, this is a follow-up video of the video that I done last week. My last video on my channel is about how to create a journal. So last week we created a journal um, that I showed you, as you can see. Uh, this, um, yeah, so I created a journal here. I just uh, created something. I called it Mindset Journal just to make uh, an example, really, because uh, I wanted to um, show you how you can create, how easy it is to create a journal. And now we're going to create that cover that I am going to show you now. Uh, but if you want to sell your journal or create journals that you can sell on Amazon KDP, then I'll go through uh, that step as well. Okay, let's get into this. As you can see, I'm on uh, this first page. This is the, uh, the cover page that we're going to use. What I've done, as you can see here, I've uh, uh, put in some margins so they can guide me on where to put the text and uh, where I can put my uh, cover picture if I need to, so that it doesn't get cut off when they print or when you print uh, or when your clients uh, photocopy or print. So that's what uh, uh, I've done here. So what I did, I went to file up here and then as you can see as I put in show guides, the guides will be like the purple lines that you'll see when I move uh, an item or an object uh, inside my canvas. And then the margins are these ones, I'll just take them off and then so we can see uh, when I put them in. So you can see now it's just plain, it's got the outside border. So I'll come up here, file, and then I'll click on show guides. So guys, we'll, we'll see them when we do something inside the canvas. And then uh, just to guide us, so our text or our heading of the journal is in the right spot, I'll put in show margins. So then this is the margin that will come in. Always make sure that your margins uh, help you uh, put uh, the title or any text that you want uh, on your cover to be inside this area here because you don't want it to be coming off, uh, then it will get cut off. Alrighty, so this is the simple way to do it. If you are not going to use Amazon KDP, if you're just going to put it on your website or on where you, um, you know, the the area where you sell um, digital products like uh, Gumroad or some other ones that are out there, so you can use it th this way. So what I'll do, I'll go and create a background just to find a background. I'll go onto the left toolbar here. There's a background there. I'll click on background. And then you bring different types of background, whether it's uh, about the landscape patterns or gradients. Uh, so I'll just create maybe from the abstract. I'll go to abstract and see what they've got there. I think I saw one that I I liked uh, in the past. Uh, yeah, this one here. So when you click on it, you'll just come onto your canvas. So as you can see, it's already covered the canvas there. So this is the cover that you can use or that I'll use for now. And you see the margins are still there. So they will not come out or when you print, they will not come. But if you want to make sure, you can just take them out as well once everything is in place. But they, they shouldn't come out when they print out. So the next thing, as you can see now, this is your cover, the first cover, first page, which is your cover. And then you can design it how you want. You can add some graphics that should uh, um, uh, be... Uh, you know how you like it how you want to customize it alrighty so let's uh, customize this now you can what you can do now if you want you can add a text I'll go to text on this uh, toolbar here and then I'll select the text that I'll just put a heading then I'll type um, whatever the title of my journal is uh, I'll just say as I said it's, a, it's an example the man's a journal um, and then um, you can locate it wherever you, you feel like uh, would be the best place for it. I uh, can increase the font as well. Um, then you can come here and change the the font as well if you like. If you've got a font that you like, I like this one, um, grade 5. I'll change that to that one. Then I can increase the size of it. Um, I'll keep increasing the size. Yeah, then you can locate it wherever you, you feel like uh, is the right 
uh, spot to the, the margins as you can see uh, as I was saying when you go to file and you um, the guides um, show guides so the guides are these purple lines that will show you where it is like it's in the middle um, it's in the center so they will guide you to uh, to make sure so you can design how you want it so I'll, I can do this and come to effects uh, and then just curve that text and then I can uh, just play around with it and then to make sure it's in there yeah then you can check it make sure it's still in the center I think that's pretty good yeah increase the size a bit that's it it's still within so I like that so um, I'm happy with that and that's it now once you have done and um, if you just want to download the whole thing then you go there make sure it's all PDF print and then you select all the pages and then you download that's the easy way or the other way of doing it but then if you want to go and sell onto Amazon KDP then uh, we're gonna do uh, something different as well so I will show you uh, that now um, so I hope you've understood that one so it's easy so just follow the steps that we did on the last video about how to create uh, a journal I showed uh, you uh, three different ways of uh, creating a journal the interior of your journal and then um, after that you create the, the cover and that's it all right let's get into the next step okay now here we're gonna create a general cover and then we gonna make sure that we got the right dimensions and that our KDP allows and then we can put it on KDP and sell uh, on Amazon so this is what you're gonna do so the first thing that you need to do is to create a KDP account so you can create that account it's free you create it and then you end up on this page and once you are on this page you can see the options of how to create I can create an ebook a paperback and Amazon at the moment they are trialing how to create the hardcover they only just started this recently they've uh, only been doing the paperback and the ebook so which I think is great so now you can create hardcovers on Amazon so it's a beta stage so uh, you can try that as well uh, so once you've um, signed up for uh, KDP then you could to create um, that cover that we're talking about so you need to follow the dimensions that Amazon uh, Sell it, otherwise they're going to reject your book so you can now come up on the paperback you can then go there to create great cover um, then when you click on that it will bring you to this um, page here uh, so this page you can even watch the video if you like so they can show you how to do it um, to make sure you're not rejected and once you've done that uh, then you uh, go to create uh, to cover creator uh, cover creator you come up here where you calculate uh, the measurements and the dimensions of uh, your your cover um, so Amazon is very strict on that make sure you know what you want what type of um, uh, book the size that you want at the moment I'm using a seven so 8.5 by 11 inches that's the book uh, the journal that I'm doing so you enter the information here so you can get the right template uh, they will give you this uh, guidance here uh, to create that template so you obviously the first thing you do is you go to the paperback um, and then uh, the interior type black and white and then uh, type of the paper cream or white it's up to you what you want to choose between those two and then how you want your pages to turn uh, from left to right or right to left um, and yeah say right to left and then the measurement in inches uh, or millimeters is up to you wherever you are how you what measurements you use use that or whatever that makes sense to you and then the interior um, trim so this is the size of uh, um, the journal that you want uh, whether it's a uh, 6x9 or 5.5 by 8.5 as I was saying I am using um, 8.5 by 11 inches is the one that I'm doing and then the important thing here um, it's uh, the number of pages that you're going to create uh, the reason why I say the important one is because the spine of your book will be determined by the number of pages and Amazon is really strict uh, here make sure you put the right pages if you don't they will give you problems really or they'll keep uh, returning your book so that you can sort it out so you better just to get it the first time so I've put 100 here because um, the journal that I done in uh, um, Canva it's up to 100 pages Canva um, allow up to 100 pages uh, if you want more there's another video that I've done that you can uh, match um, two separate PDFs to create a larger um, 
a larger document. But uh, let's start with, I will just do with 100 so that you can uh, create that on uh, free account of uh, canva.com. So after you've done this, then you, um, um, you download the template. So I've already downloaded the template. So I will now come back to uh, Canva and then I'll click onto that uh, template that I've created and download it. Uh, and then this is the template. Um, I'll just take these out first so I can show you guys everything. Okay, so this is a template 8x5, 8.5 by 11 uh, inches. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just to put a background into the into the cover. So we can go to the background and just uh, find the color that we maybe like, that we can use. Um, just whatever works for you, we just... Uh, just create that. You can change the color. Let me make sure it's not too. Let's make it live. Okay. So now what we're going to do? Are uh, we going to create a spine first? Um, so what we'll do with the spine? You go to elements and then get um, uh, to lines and shapes, and then get the square. So we get that square there, and then the square. We're going to make sure we line it. Um, And then we can just increase it all the way out. Let's drag it out. And then we can drag it, uh, bring it to the middle. It will show you, as you can see here. Yeah, there's it. So those uh, margins and the lines, so the guidelines are showing us where it is. Uh, or you can even just um, uh, work on it here and then go to position and then click on middle if it's not in the middle and then click center then it will take it straight to where it is so this is your spine and then if you want to put a text on your spine make sure the text is also within uh, this area here right okay so now the next thing that we're going to do uh, we're going to find the the cover so the cover we can still use the same cover that we did before um I'll just Sorry, I'll go back. Um, we can. Uh, we can still use the same cover, or you can uh, get different, or like a photo if you like. Uh, I'll take this one out again, and then maybe go to the photos. Or if you've got a, a graphic that you downloaded from some places online, like maybe. Um, Creative uh, Fabrica, they sell some nice uh, stuff there. You can also download it from there. You come, then after you download it from where you bought it, you bring it in here and then into your uploads, you upload media and then it comes on to this. These are all the stuff that I downloaded there. And then, or you can just use um, the photos in, if you are a free account, just make sure you select the free, you go there and then select free. And then you filter them, then everything that comes up will be all free. So we can use that as well. So let's see what we can use here. Um, or you can type uh, something. Uh, so you can filter everything. Uh, you can take this one just as an example. So this is the one we have here now. What you can do, uh, you can make sure it's all, it doesn't extend beyond, uh, um, yeah. so where the blue line comes, make sure you leave it there. And then and that's it. And then we can create the back of the, of the cover. Uh, you can create it with something different as well. It's up to you. Um, whatever works for you. So just find something interesting, obviously. Um, uh, we'll go back to uh, the ones I used before. Okay, 
I'll use this one and then the same way as well make sure you, you don't go uh, beyond the, the blue lines this one I'll drag it down so it, there you go sorry the purple lines then bring this one and that's it as you can see now we can change the color of the spine there change it to where it kind of almost matches with the with the cover we can do that yeah and that's it that's your cover there so we can then uh, put your text um your text um, increase font remember that to make sure your your uh, text is within is within the border uh, just uh, it's important to remember that it's within the border make sure it's within the border um, I will do what I did with um, I'll just curve it and then make sure it sits very nice. And I'll change the color of uh, that. Let's see what color will match. Maybe the white. Um, maybe not. Maybe black. Yeah, probably black. <laughs> Well, what you can do just to make sure it's uh, it's glowing like it's it becomes more prominent you can go back to the elements as well and get to that square uh, again and then just create um, something just to make it and that's it if it's too can find a color that works for you as long or you can even uh, uh, reduce the uh, transparency just so you can be a little bit yeah there you go so something like that so um, this one just leave it there that's it and this is the cover so this is the cover you can then label your cover there um, make sure you don't lose it with the rest of your documents and then the next thing you do you come up here to download and then make sure you you download the cover for KDP as a PDF print and then uh, you download and that's it that's um, your cover and then this cover after you have uh, uh, done it you're happy with it you download as PDF print and then you come uh, to Amazon KDP to your account and then uh, on your account then you come here and then uh, click on that and then uh, upload your book and then you give you the option to upload your cover as you can see one of my books here if you haven't checked it out yet you can check uh, my book there is on Amazon both in in uh, uh, ebook and paperback and I've got the hardback as well there so you can have a look at it but that's how you do it uh, in the future I will uh, create a video on how you can upload your book onto Amazon KDP and set it up uh, ready for people to buy it okay guys if you've got any questions please don't hesitate to ask me email me send me a message uh, on my social media or you can uh, um, send me uh, or leave a comment down below uh, if you have enjoyed this video guys please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe as well and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time i post a new video i hope you guys you've learned something from this if you have uh, let me know i appreciate your support and i appreciate you taking the time to watch this video you take care and i will talk to you in the next one bye <laughs>